Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, hope you're really doing well. Um, I've just come in from um, Pound Shop and I've, I've got a really small haul um, just to show you and um, my meal for the next two days because I'm going to be having my baby grandson, baby George. Um, and we, instead of doing a takeaway, which costs a bloody lot of money, let's face it, I thought, no, I'm just going to go to Marcus's and buy one of their meal deals and do it itself. So I'll quickly show you what I've got for that. Um, but before we get started, as you can see, I've just come in. I'm just going to quickly take my coat off. It's bloody miserable. It's bloody cold. It's windy. And I hate this weather with a passion. I'm, as you know me, I'm a summer person. I, I don't do winter at all. Um, I'm going to make myself my festive cocktail in my little festive cup. I'm going to do that and show you what I'm going to put in there. And um, I'm going to go and take this off and I'll be back in a second and we'll crack on. I'll see you in a moment. Right, you guys. I see it's so cold. I've, I've had to take my rings off because my hands are so cold that they've gone really... My fingers have gone thin and my rings are, are rubbing up like loose and I'm frightened they're going to come off my fingers. Um, so I've taken my rings off. Anyway, right, let's crack on. Let's warm ourselves up with a little winter warmer. Now, the ingredients I'm using for this little cocktail, let's get the lid off of this first. So these are the little ones you can buy in um, Home Bargains. Um, what did I say? They were under two pound, I think they was. Comes with a straw, um, comes with your, your, like, your lid, which is supposed to be like a ball ball, and this is glass. Um, I've got a funnel because that's not very wide. So we need a funnel to pour the actual drink into. Um, you can't even, I can't even get ice in it. I can probably get crushed ice in it, but yeah, you can't even get that, you know, any big cubes of ice will not go in that, um, that little top there. Um, the ingredients I'm using is, this is Haysmith's Blackberry and Raspberry Bramble Gin. I'm not a gin lover, can't stand it, can't stand the smell, but I like these liqueur types of gins. This one, I think, think was from Audi. Um, we've had it for a while now, hence you can see I'm down to my last, last little bits. Um, it says it's expertly Haysmith's crafted blackberry and um, raspberry gin. Now obviously raspberry is not really, it's more of a summer fruit, not a winter fruit. But we're going to pair it up with cranberry juice um, and obviously cranberry juice is a festive drink so we're going to have some of that we're going to have a shot of that we've got a mixer as i say this one happens to be from MS because i just happen to be in there and picked it up i wouldn't say it's that cheap it's 175 and obviously you can get it cheaper elsewhere um, but that's the one at a marks is i'm also pairing it up with um, some frozen berries. Now, the frozen berries, I'm probably not going to get those in there, the blackberries, because they're just not big enough. But I've got in here red currants and um, blueberries and black currants. And because they're little, I can actually get those in there. So we're going to put some of those in there, and that would be kind of our, our ice, if you like, because they're frozen. This bag is from Tesco's, but all the supermarkets have them. Um, it's just a berry, a frozen berry mix. I've got elderflower just to give that little bit of sweetness. This is Morrison's own make, elderflower cordial. I'm not sure how much this is, um, but elderflower is quite nice. It's got a nice sweet yeah, flavour to it. Excuse me, just one second. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the last thing we're adding in is a spiced rum. This is by Admiral's, Admiral Nelson's Spiced Rum. We actually picked this up at the airport coming back. It's in a plastic bottle, so it's perfect for hand luggage. Um, it's a huge bottle, as you can see. It's 1.75 litres. I'm going to guess it being... It, it was very inexpensive. It was something like $12, something something like that. So very inexpensive and it's a great big bottle. So spiced rum. Um, okay, now, 
I've got little mini cocktail shakers. I've had this for ages. My sister-in-law bought them for me for Christmas in a four in a pack and I love them. But stupidly, I put them in the dishwasher and all the, um, the coatings are coming off, but I still use them. They're, they're just brilliant little uh, mini cocktail shakers. So let, I'm just gonna tip you down quickly and I'll show you my ingredients. I wonder if I can move that back slightly, get, get you a <coughs> different angle. Um, I've already measured out my um, spice rum. That looks quite a lot. It's probably, it's two shots in there. But I'm not actually going to use that whole lot. Um, so we're going to do half, maybe half of that. So one shot of the rum. I'm eyeballing this, by the way. Um, one shot. That's a large shot. So we'll say that's a double shot of the Brambury a blackberry and raspberry bramble, bramble gin. That's gone in there as well. We're gonna add our cordial, a splash of the cordial, the elderflower cordial. And then we're going in with our festive cranberry. Top that up, you want quite a bit of that. <coughs> oh, I don't know why I've got a tickly throat. And then we're going to add our berries. I'm still going to put some of the blackberries in there as well. Um, just that they can sit in there. So if you drink only half of it, then you've got your infused. Look, I'm tipping it everywhere. Infused um, berries as well. So I am going to put them in there. But I want to get some of the smaller berries in there as well. And not to over. Okay. That's because I'm getting excited to drink it. Right. And obviously we can't put ice in there. You can put ice in there if you've got a bigger glass, but obviously I can't. So um, we're not doing that. Okay, lid on. Give it a good shake. And as you can see, it's not that great. It's leaking at the top. But hey ho, this is, this is Nikki's show and anything goes with me, you know that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sample a little bit. Hold on. I think that needs a little bit more cordial, which is quite strong. So let's put, oh God, no, I can't get the black lid off. Let's sweeten this up with a little bit more of the elderflower. And that should be good to go. Let's taste it. Much better. Right. On goes our funnel. I want some of the cranberries to go in there, but they're not, look, don't look yourself. They're going in there gradually. Yep, perfect. In there. I think I need the funnel to be a bit wider. Let's shove you back in there for a minute. I'm not even going down the flipping hole. Okay, let's start again. Wait a minute. Oh look, I've got I've got them all jammed in the bottom of the hole. Look. Wait a minute. Push it for. <laughs> I'm absolutely um, making a bloody mess with all this everywhere. Hang on. I'm going to have to strain them. That's better. Right, how much is in there now? Yeah, we can keep going. Oh, it's filled it. not quite filled it up. Right, now, now what I'll do is <laughs> shove them in. <laughs> Does anyone, does anyone remember the Galloping Gourmet from, was it in the 70s? I remember my mum watching it and absolutely laughing her head off. And this is just reminded me of one of those incidents where um, you try and do something on camera and it just goes absolutely completely wrong. Not wrong, but it just don't go where you want it to go. So anyway, <laughs> there you go. I've made a lovely mess. 
Hey ho. We'll tip the camera up and we'll see what it looks like. Well, not what it looks like, we know what it looks like. Let's <laughs> see what it tastes like. Listen, we need a laugh, don't we? Right, one minute. I've got to unblock the straw. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I've got a tickly throat. <coughs> right. Let's see. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, my days. One minute. Cheers. Mm. That's really nice. That's really Moorish. <laughs> it's making me cough. Right. Okay. Let <laughs> I'm so sorry, Carl, stop bloody laughing. <laughs> oh, well, mine, I have not even had a bloody cough. I don't know what I'm coughing for. Right. That's because I feel like I've got, you know, like you get a tickle in the back of your throat and then you cough and it makes you cough more. <coughs> like that. Stupid woman. Right, let me clear all this up. I'm going to quickly put all this stuff away and then we get on with this pound, the bloody pound shop. Oh, God. Hey, yeah, yeah. Right, let's get on. So. <coughs> Start again. <clears throat> okay, let's get on. So my little meal deals for the next two nights, instead of getting takeaways up on Marx's, I've got the slow cooked ribs. These are absolutely delicious. They're so nice. I think they're um, they're seven fifty. So for two people, which does me and Sean, three fifty each, and I and I do it with sweet potato mash and salad. Um, so which cuts so that for me and Sean that's like a tenner, so five pounds each <clears throat> instead of going to somewhere like TGI Fridays and having the ribs in there, it costs you 30 quid. Um, so I've got my salad, my salad was on special offer for a pound. Um, I've not even got to do nothing to it, it's chopped up, ready to go. And I should do a Caesar dressing with that. Um, a sweet potato with something like 60p. <clears throat> And um, I've got coleslaw, which was also on their special because they were reducing the coleslaw, and that was down to two pound for M and S coleslaw. Um, so, what did I say? Seven fifty, seven fifty, eight fifty, nine fifty, nine fifty. Yeah, ten, ten pound fifty, something like that. <coughs> Honestly, I'm so sorry. And then my Chinese takeaway. Um, I don't know about you, you guys, but when me and Sean have a takeaway for just for just two of us, literally for like five dishes, is about thirty quid. They're about five to six pound per dish, and you need well, you don't need, but we always have a rice, we have a noodles, we might have some prawns, um, some some prawn toast, some crackers, and. Uh, um, and, and, and another dish. So you're at least having five dishes and they're at least five to six pound per dish. So <clears throat> this is the Marx's one. It's seven pound for the, for the deal. You get your stir fry veg. You get your noodle. I chose noodles, Singapore noodles. Um, it comes with duck. Well, you can get chicken and I think they had prawns. I chose the duck. And it also comes with the um, sauce. And that was seven pound. Can't go wrong with that. And it literally takes five minutes. Put that in your wok, fry it all up, it's done. And it, and I personally, I think it's really, really nice. And you know, quite for value for money. Most of the um, supermarkets do things like that anyway, like a meal deal. So check them out. Check all the you know, I'll just do them. I think Lidl's probably do them. Most of the supermarkets do things like that. Um, you know, it's all about cutting back. I, I, I can't afford to, you know, have takeaways all the time. They're, just, they're too expensive. So something like that is, is, a, is a perfect solution. You know, it's your, your date night, your stay in night. Make yourself a cocktail. Um, do yourself a stir fry or, or, or a curry or whatever you want to do and stay in on your date night. 
Mm. Out the berries are all caught in this bloody straw. Right. Now, pound them. Pound shop, whatever you want to call it. Now, <clears throat> I'm still doing my little cheap, um, inexpensive DIY Christmas stuff. And I bought this for it's going to be up, it's going to be upside down so i'm not using it as a basket it's going to be upside down um and on the next craft i'm just checking something here um i'm going to show you what we're going to be doing with it okay so it's kind of going to go we're going to use this we're going to use this and we're using these little serve it they're called serving tubs from the pound shop all three are going to be used together. So that's that. <clears throat> the basket, incidentally, was a pound. I always have these um, for, for cleaning. I just like paper towels when I'm doing my cleaning. Um, I've got just some all-purpose um, cloths as well for cleaning. I always keep some in the bathroom upstairs and some down here. Some of them made us a pound. Um, I picked up some more bar salts. These actually was a pound. They, um, or was they 150? One minute. No, they weren't, it's 150. No, it's not. Hang on a sec, let me just double check this. No, it is a pound, it is a pound. I thought that was more than that, but they're a pound. It's quite a nice size, it's a 500 gram. Um, you know, Sean likes his bar salts, so one of those. Um, this, I've got a couple of stocking fillers as well to show you, but I'll do that at the end. I'll just get rid of the other stuff. One minute. Um, let me move that out of the way. I'm just going to get rid of the boring bits. Spray paint. The spray paint is for the black basket. We're going to be spraying that in the white. I believe that was £2.50 for our spray paint. Um... I love these. They're the equivalent of um, Ferrero Rocher's, but the white version, and I just, I love these. My favourite. So that's my treat to myself for tonight. So I've got my cocktail, I've got my food ready to go, and that's my treat for after. <laughs> right, what else have we got? What's biscuits. Honestly, the amount of biscuits I go through. <laughs> But you know what I'm like, I love my biscuits. Um, what else is interesting in here for DIY? Right, okay, command hooks. Now, I'll give you a little tip about command hooks. No, not a little tip about command hooks. When you're hanging things like you want to put a reef on your wall or you want to put a picture on your wall, you don't want to put nails in there, go for command hooks. But go for the the proper make. So when I say the proper make, Pound Shop do just their ordinary standard um, plastic hooks. I've used them a lot in the past. They don't last five minutes. I've put them on the wall in my craft room, hung a reef on it the next day, the whole thing's come down. And the reef isn't even a made up reef, it's just a base, so it's not that heavy, and they've come off the wall. Um, I now have swapped out and, and actually buy the brand Command. Um, I bought clear ones because when I start putting my Christmas decor up in here, above my television, you know where the television is over on that side of the wall, I want to hang, I've got beautiful Mayfair garland, which obviously I'm going to dress up, and I want to hang it so it goes like that and hangs down. So it's going to go up and down like a swag, well it is a swag, and then I'm going to have garlands coming down either side. So obviously I need something up there to hook it on. I bought the clear ones, these was in the pound shop. I bought, I, mean, I only need three, but obviously they come in packets of two. And they were, I say two pounds each packet or three pounds? One minute, I think they were two pounds. I think they were two pounds. Let me just double check. Um, no, they're not, they're three pounds. So these are three pounds, so obviously they're more expensive brand, but in the long run, they just last longer. They're much, they're much better. So 
And the, the tip for doing what your command hooks up is, if you're using them, you need to press them on and you need to hold them. And it does tell you on the back as well how to do it. You need to hold it for at least 30 seconds. Hold it in place, like push your hand on it as much as you can to hold it in place. You really need to do that. Hold your fingers down there, top and bottom, the whole thing's covered for at least 30 seconds. Then, according to this, it says, sorry guys, um, according to this, it says, leave it for an hour before you hang things on. My personal opinion, and I've done this, is to leave it overnight and, and use it the next day. Um, or do it in the morning and use it in the afternoon. You know, give yourself a good three or four hours before you put anything on them. So I know that's a little bit boring, bit of a boring tip, but it's a good tip. Okay, so moving on. Wreath hangers. If you're a wreath maker and, and you sell your wreaths, I always include, when I do sell my wreaths, I always include a wreath hanger to my customers. Always, always, always. Um, they're in the pound shop for a pound. I used to get them from Home Bargains because they used to be 69p. They've gone up, so it makes no difference whether you get me the pound shop or Home Bargains. I've got silver and gold, um, and they add absolutely bundles in there. These are, I use these again for if I'm tying up garlands onto stairs, I use the twist ties because obviously they're green, they're a pound. And sometimes I use this. So it, it's, it says make your own wreath, but you can not make your own wreath with this, but let's face it, it ain't gonna be great. But, you know, who's to say it wouldn't look nice? You know, I'm not to say that, but I'm just saying it's not that thick to make a proper wreath. You need a few of them to get that thickness. But again, cut it in half, cut this, because you get on there, it says 24 by 24, 24 centimetres, which I have no idea what 24 centimetres is. It can't be, it's more than 24 centimetres. Um, and then you can chop it down and make it into your ties and twist up your garland around your stairs that way. So that was a pound each. And then forestry wire. This is such good value for money. Again, if you're a crafter, I really recommend you get this. It doesn't tell you the gauge of the wire, um, but it's probably about 24 gauge wire and you get 37 meters. I buy these probably, I've still got some from last year um, where they've lasted me that long. They, I, I really think these are good value for money. So if you're a crafter, I definitely recommend you getting some craft wire. And then the last thing I've got from like, the world, before I carry on and tell you about the uh, little DIY projects I'm gonna do, um, is these two things for DIYing. I saw something on Pinterest and I thought, oh, that's such an easy craft to do. So it's literally using three little white bowls and then I'm gonna do the craft and show you. But it is a simple thing. Honestly, it is, anyone can do it. So we're gonna use these in, I may do this on our next one or the one after, video wise. And then these felt coasters. These we're not gonna keep red. We're gonna be spray painting these white. So that's coming up. And then the last thing before we finish for today is a couple of little um, stocking fillers. These, I think, are really nice. They're called Shimmer Body Mist. They must be new in there, or they're new to my pound shop. They're by, by Glow Up Winter Floral. These are brilliant for little stocking fillers for the girls, or boys. Um, you know, for, for anyone. You give it a good shake, and what you do is you spray it on yourself, have a shower, your bath or whatever, and when you're going out, you know, you're going to the pub, or you want to jazz yourself up a little bit, and you've got short sleeves on, or, or legs, if you've got your legs showing as well, give it a little spritz, give it a little spritz, and this gives you a little shimmer and a glow. I bought these um, from another store, it was either last year or the year before, 
and I took them when I went to Florida. Oh, it must be last year because I was out there nearly at Christmas. And um, going out in the evening in, in the Christmas period and spraying it up, yeah, it's just so nice. So yes, I got I got two of those little stocking fillers. And then the last thing I got, which is not really a stocking filler, it's more for my house, um, was this. Now I've not seen this brand in there before. It's a hand wash. But I really like the bottle. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take the label off, even though I think the label looks quite high end, but the bottle I think looks high end. So I'm going to remove the label and I'd like to, and I keep saying this, use my Cricut machine, I just, I just don't have the time always, and create a really nice high-end label to go on that. I think that is such a high-end look. I like the colour, it's got the gold knob on the top, perfect. Well, I think that that's it for today. I'm just thinking, was there something else I needed to show you? But I don't think I do. I think that's it. I'm looking around. I've got some crafts coming up. We are going to be doing some, our own kind of the candy cane theme bulbs, which I've got those ready. So I'm gonna show you what, how we do those. Um, and some gingerbread bits and pieces. Like I'm gonna do a gingerbread house. Um, some gingerbread uh, men. I've already got my templates out and I'm playing around with designs and things like that. Um, and um, the basket and the other boxes, stacking, them, stacking those up for something else. So we've got some good bits coming up, so do stay tuned for that. Um, anyway, I think we'll call it a day. I'm gonna drink the rest of my cocktail, get my stir fry on and sit in front of the, um, the TV and the football's on. I don't mind the football. I really don't mind it. But it's one of them nights I just want to put like a good film on and just sit and chill. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, take care, everybody. See you all soon. Look after yourselves. Ciao for now. Bye.